but I don't think it was nine minutes. Oh. Hello and welcome back to another video. Now today it is Sunderland at Gresty Road, the reverse fixture of the one we last played Sunderland back in October. Uh, from what I remember that game, it was unfortunately a Luke offered own goal, um, which unfortunately let us down, and that was the difference of the game, unfortunately losing the Stadium of Light. But it's a reverse fixture today, so we have to forget about that game and focus on today. Um, of course, we had a good win on Tuesday night against Accrington. We've gone for the same lineup as we did the other night, with Porter and Mandron up front. So it's the 4-4-2, um, so I'm really looking forward to today's game. Two players from Sunderland I'm a little bit wary of is uh, Ada McGeady and Charlie White. Charlie White's been an absolute banger for uh, Sunderland this season. Sunderland overall have been doing really, really well. They're on good form at the moment. You know, there's been lots of positives around their club. Um, they just have a takeover. You know, so things are looking very, very good on the pitch and off the pitch for Sunderland. Um, so, you know, they'll, they'll be really up for it today. It's a nice day, good weather. Um, but for crew, I just hope we can play the football we play. You know, nothing silly. Be good defensively. Be good in the midfield and good in the attack, hopefully. Hopefully Mandron's got his shooting boots with him today because uh, we could really do with him and see if he can score against his former club. But I'm really looking forward to today. It should be an interesting game. You know, if we can get a point, I'll be really, really happy. Because, you know, for a team like Crew against a team like Sunderland, it's a big difference between both clubs. Um, so I'll be really happy with a point. If we can go on to get a, a win, you know, that's even better for us. You know, it would really suit us. Um, but it would be a massive win, definitely one of the biggest wins of the season. Um, but I'm really just looking forward to the game. You know, it's not long till kickoff now, about 20 minutes to go. Uh, I'll put the lineups on screen now. I'm sure you already know it because of the other night, but uh, I'll put them on screen anyway. But uh, please make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, I recently just got to 484 subscribers as of the other night, and uh, it really does mean a lot to me. I'm currently 16 off 500, so if you could let subscribe and turn on post notifications, it really does mean a lot. With that said, let's get straight into the kickoff. Right, both sets of teams are now out on the pitch. Kickoff is literally seconds away. Right, it looks like Sunderland are kicking the game off for the first half. Uh, here we go. Come on, crew. Murphy. Porter. Porter. That's not a pen. That's not a pen. Just over five minutes gone. There's not been a massive threat um, from both teams. It's just been a lot of passing. Crew just passing it around quite a bit. Um, but you can see when Sunderland get the ball, make the tackle move fast. But here comes Crew coming back. Is Lowry on the run? He's going to bring it into Mandron Kirk. Poor ball from Kirk. Just couldn't find a, a red shirt and couldn't clear the line. Get to anyone. Be careful. Beginning to try to be careful with this ball don't fall into possession of Sunderland. Bit of stoppage here, just under 10 minutes. Uh, a Sunderland player has gone over the sponsor board. Um, I didn't even notice it to be honest, I didn't even see that he went. Um, but yeah, the stop is just a little bit of stoppage here to treat him. I think he's all right. Might have had a little bang on the head, but uh, yeah, we're getting ready to go again. It's Kirk. Lowry. Lowry. Hits. Oh. It's on target. Keeper gets down low quickly to save it. First proper chance of the game. And it goes to the crew. Look very slow, the visitors at the moment, don't they? When the ball breaks loose. Nice turn by Lowry. Hits it. Look, Keep us uh, down, on the ready to save. But it was on target. Good ball in by Pickering. A a I think it was Wood at the end who got the uh, header. No real um, but it went on top of the net. So, so far, 20 minutes in, and it's 0 0. Nil. Oh, it's Ruth Kirk! Oh! Oh my god, what just happened there? Kirk was through, hit it up over the keeper. Was going in, Sanderson's got there, headed it out and cleared it for Sunderland. It was a awful throwing. Kirk managed to sneak through. And Sanderson's hit it out. He was caught sleeping. It was already blocked, but uh, it's a throwing. Here's the Mandron. Yes! Porter! Get in! 
Porter scored one nil crew. Thirty minutes in. Get in. Brilliant. I think it was a man shot of six. I said that pass in there was very good. Uh, here we go. It was Pickering. Yeah, Wintle, the good ball. Yeah, to Mandron. Mandron with the assist. Bringing it into nicely done. Nicely done. 1 0 crew. Get in. It's another tap in for Porter, but who cares? A goal's a goal at the end of the day. As long as it's in the back of the net, it really doesn't matter whether it's a yard out or 30 yards out. It's a goal. We will take it. Nicely won there by Murphy. Puts it on the left hand side for Kirk. Kirk's coming in here. Murphy. Oh! Oh, what's going on? Oh! What's going on? Carnage there. The ball's going all over the place. Then you, then you see how they, they manage but he's been oh really nice to hear here picks up Porters on the run he's got Kirk on his left he's not used him here's Lowry he's going to put it out wide here's a Mandron use this well he's going to bring it in it's in goal Lowry 2-0 we're 2-0 up in the first half against Sunderland Sunderland's having a stinker today brilliant 37 minutes in, very good goal. It's another tapping, but I really couldn't care. Get in. The ice cream man's here to celebrate. And that's the first half done, half time. A very, very good performance from Crew so far. 2 0 up. Um, just eight minutes between each goal from Porter and Lowry. A real play so far. Hopefully, we can continue this in the second half and start on the front foot again and extend that lead uh, to 3 0 if we can. Can't let Sunderland get the next goal, really. Uh, that means they've only one away from an equaliser and they can push on for a winner. But let's not look at that. Let's hope we can stay positive. Um, but so far, so good. Come on, you red. Alright, the lads are back out now. Crew kicking off this second half. We've got to start on the front foot. Can't afford to let uh, Sunderland get a goal anytime soon. Otherwise, the tables will really turn. I can imagine they've uh, they've had a proper good team talk in them dressing rooms. So hopefully we can go and get our third of the game. Nicely kept there by Mandron. To Kirk. Support from Kirk, he's down the left hand side in field. Still in Mandron. Mandron still moving Kirk the ball now. Confident Murphy. crew now. They've got the right back in position. Murphy's gonna Murphy can find it and he can't. Put that right ball. across to Daniels. And nice ball. To to touch of Daniels. Oh, he's quite through nicely. It's Lowry. Daniels! Oh! Offside. Just offside, but that would have been very dangerous. Cause it's some sensational play from crew that though. We did have to really box. It's not going to get to that though, Frank. Oh, yes. Hit into the box. Lowry! No! Blocked. It's just gone wide of the post. That should have been 3 0. Good defending by Sunderland. I thought that was just going to squeeze on the inside of the post. Ball. That's an incredible goal for Sunderland. 2 1. Brilliant goal. Cannot complain with that. There's no way people were going to save that. But we can't let ourselves down now. Stunning. Can you get a little bit closer? Can you uh, affect him in some way? But good. You've just got to give credit to a incredibly yeah. good hit. Brilliant goal. Left Dave Richards no chance. Right in the top corner, and it's exactly yeah. the sort of moment you felt in the end. Cannot complain with that. It's in. Oof. The ball was nice and in. Richards has got it. Nine minutes to go until the night is up. It'll be a bit of additional time for the, uh, the poor injury of um, Sunderland's play really wrong. But we've really got to go and push for another goal. Otherwise it could be biting us back in. So my camera just died about 10 minutes ago. Uh, I've had to put it on charge just for a couple of minutes. So the chances are it's going to die again in a few, so, in a few moments. So... Um, but there's been nine minutes of added time 
to this game. I don't know where they pulled nine from. I know they had the injury, of course, um, but I don't think it was nine minutes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Sunderland have scored two absolute stunners. And they've just scored one with three minutes to go. Another absolute stunner to equalise the game. This should never happen. They should never get in the position where Chris Maguire... You can't be getting in a position there to score a goal like that. He's absolutely rightful there. They've scored two absolutely brilliant goals. Nothing brilliant goal. You can not complain. Was sensational. They've had two. He got the dip. He got everything he could. Oh my God. Fair play to Sunderland. Two screamers out of absolute nowhere. And it's 2-2. Two, two. Finish 2-2. Two, two. I don't have a clue where to pull 9 minutes from. 9 plus 7. It's a point. Can't complain. Two screamers out of absolute nowhere. Unreal. Well that is it for today's game. Absolute heartbreak at the very end. 90 plus 7, 8 uh, minute screamer out of 2 um, from today from Sunderland. Honestly though, I've, we were the much better side, um, you know, I think we could have got a lot more than two goals today with some of the chances we've had, um, but unfortunately it's just one of them cases once again where we haven't scored more goals than what we should have, um, but you know, at least we didn't lose the game, I know a point's good, but I really, we, I think we should have just got three points. Um, the nine minutes, I don't really know where they pulled it from, but I'm not going to complain and use it as an excuse, because... Sunderland's goals today were incredible, you know, there was no stopping them. It was just hit and then goal. So they were two goals out of the complete blue. So I can't really complain. So fair play to Sunderland, you know. You didn't really have that many chances, but you took your hits and uh, they paid off and got you uh, a point. So it's, it does feel like a massive loss to me. I know some people will see it as a good point, but to me, I see it as a massive loss. Because really, I think we should have won the game, and I think many of the crew fans can agree. But um, we're just going to have to move on. We've got uh, Blackpool away on a Tuesday night. That's going to be another tough one. I see they beat uh, Charlton away today, 3 0. Um, so it's off to Bloomfield Road on Tuesday. So that'll be a very, very tough game because no game in this league is easy at all. But uh, we just have to move on. Forget today. It's a point I did. We didn't lose. So it's only onwards and upwards, really. So make sure you do subscribe, it really does mean a lot, like the video, and uh, comment what you thought on today's game down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.